This is a giant cock. We interrupt this program for a very important message. So, every time we release a new video to our YouTube channel, there seems to be at least a couple of people in the comments section asking the same questions over and over again. Questions regarding the current state of the CCS Video Podcast, the whereabouts of some of our past and present members, the requirements for joining the Shishiket Studios group in general, and so on and so forth. As such, instead of copy-pasting the same answers over and over again, we have decided to make this quick Q&A video to put all of these concerns to rest once and for all. So with that said, on to the questions! Question number one! Hey, I like Subject X. Why aren't you guys talking about Subject X? Well, you know, that's, uh, that's called confirmation bias, and that's usually what happens when you simply want someone else to reinforce your existing subjective opinion and or validate a purchase. I mean, if you enjoy what we have to say about any given subject, you know, that's great. But uh, if we don't cover that topic that you're interested in, then you know what? The internet is vast and infinite, and there's other YouTubers out there likely discussing it as we speak. In addition, you know, it's probably not a good idea for everyone to be talking about the exact same thing. It's like another grain of sand in the quagmire. Not to mention, Shishika Studios is not channel awesome. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Nor have we ever really tried to be. So if all you want is constant coverage of entertainment media news, there's plenty of other YouTube channels doing this. And hey, guess what? You're free to subscribe to them. We're not jealous, you know. Question number two. Hey, I don't like Subject Y. Why do you guys still talk about Subject Y? Question number three. Is there going to be a new podcast? Well, you know, we did just release the one about True Detective. Then there was another one about the culture of victimhood before that. And Um, not to interrupt the laughing man, but I think they're asking about the next installment of the CCS video podcast. Oh. Yeah, because after all, it's pretty much public knowledge at this point that no one really gives a crap about After Hours. <laughs> you know, even if a typical After Hours recording technically has twice the amount of content. Yeah, you see, it requires an attention span to sit through the After Hours, so you know. <laughs> Snap! Zing! In that case, probably not. Uh, since Cinemax, Katie, and myself are really the only three full-time members of CCS at the moment, a proper video podcast would require at least one more person. And that's not saying we're not going to make any more video content in the future, I mean, you know, wasted efforts and whatnot, uh, but just don't expect to see another roundtable about disturbing ducktail parodies anytime soon. Reference. <laughs> Question number four. Well, if you folks are a few members short, then uh, can I be the fourth person? I mean, I can talk. <laughs> yeah, so can Coco the Gorilla. <laughs> um, <laughs> the real question is, you know, what else can you bring to the table? I mean, um, are you a decent video editor? Are you an artist? Can you offer some type of uh, regular contribution besides just being another talking head? What Laughing Man is trying to say here is that the real problem with our content in the past was not a shortage of podcast hosts. Uh, believe me, we've had plenty of applicants dying to join the roundtable. But what we have been lacking all this time are actual team members. So, in the future, what we're looking for are artists, musicians, and just content creators in general. After all, you don't need to be a part of the CCS Video Podcast lineup to be featured on our YouTube channel, you know. That's exactly why Katie's on board with us now, is because she went way over and above with GGR to help us out and help out that show, and she never really asked to be a part of the, uh, the crew. We just brought her on board because she just did the work. Well, that and affirmative action. <laughs> <laughs> Can't look like total misogynist, right, Max? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Question number five. Speaking of past members, where's B-Mask? In short, B-Mask has officially left CCS to peruse a legitimate career in animation. He does, however, have a separate YouTube channel, though, so uh, if you're interested in following him, here's a link. Question number six. Is there going to be a new Game Glitch Radio episode? Hmm, that's a good question, actually. Uh, we'd kind of like to know that ourselves, to be honest. But the fate of that show is entirely in the hands of Kenny and the FUBU. So, if you folks want to see more installments of that series, make sure to let the two of them know by using the following links below. Question number seven. What about Wasted Effort? Where is it at? Well, in the three months since our last episode, we had recorded several discussions between myself and Laughing Man, 
But truth be told, we felt like neither of them were really up to par. By the way though, if you're supporting us via Patreon, you should have access to a secret lost episode, quote unquote, of wasted effort. This one was a discussion that we were halfway through animating when we decided to move on and start from scratch. But we currently have an even more solid wasted effort episode in production and all three of us are working diligently on it. So expect to see it up sometime within the next 36 months. I don't know. <laughs> in case you're vaccinated, that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, question number eight. Okay, well, if you guys aren't doing as many videos these days, what are you doing with all your time? Well, I'm actually glad you asked. Currently, we're trying to keep our YouTube channel active with more frequent after-hours recordings, wildcard compilations, and a monthly webcomic series available on our website. And of course, there's wasted effort currently in development. Uh, but remember when we said a while back in our Merlot Williams interview that we would like to try our hand at more creative projects? Well, actually, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Sadly, it's still way too early to unveil any specific details at the moment, but we might release a teaser of sorts sometime soon to give you folks an idea of what Cheshire Cat Studios has in store for you, the fans, in the future!